in German we have all this beautiful forest, all these beautiful trees, due to a man by the name of Joseph Welch. Mr. Welch came down here from San Francisco in 1867, two years after the Civil War, bought 300 acres of redwood trees for $6,000. He was going to timber the lumber off, but he saw how pretty it was, he said, I'm not going to cut it. Today, the direct family descendants of Mr. Welch still own the property. In 1960, a second family, the Norman Clark family, came in and built the railroad. We were riding on private property, private railroad.
take you to Europe? Yeah. We're now rolling. Oh yeah. On a steam bus. Right, with steam on it. Is that right? Or just steam? Your wife said you build it too. Yeah, build them. That's why I come here. in this area. We have deer, skunk, raccoon, chipmunk, squirrels. We also have a thing called a bobcat. We also have a thing called a mountain lion. In September of last year, a mountain lion warning was issued for the University of California Santa Cruz campus. It's a very heavily wooded rolling hill campus just north of Santa Cruz. A gentleman on the train last week who's a member of the University Police Department told me the mountain lion warning is still in effect for the university. They're still getting sightings. They're still finding small carcasses on the campus. If you live up in this area, your chances of ever seeing that mountain lion is kind of slim. But during the cold winter months, particularly at night and during his mating season, occasionally you'll hear him scream, and there's no question of what you're hearing. Before we get away too far, I'd like you to take one last look at that trestle for me, please. If you can imagine a fire with the heat and the intensity to destroy a structure that big and that heavy, and we didn't lose the forest around it. I think it's a real tribute to about 50 people that spent almost two days, two, two nights up here fighting the thing. Major problem. The old trestle was so heavily coated with creosote that it acted like the surprise candles on a birthday cake that you blow out. You wait a few minutes and it flash back on again. This trestle flashed for about 36 hours once the fire got, once the fire consumed it. I think it's a real tribute to those people that we didn't lose the entire forest. Even these blackened trees sitting around close to it, I understand, they are not burnt, but that creosote boil off, that stain from the burning of the trestle.
actually have the gears in reverse almost. Oh, is that to right? a point where he's slowing the locomotive down. Oh. If he didn't, you'd be running down there about 20 miles. Is that where the brakes now? What? Is that where the brakes now go? No, 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 no. He's right now, he's almost on the reverse. Okay. He's on a very low gear. It's just like on the transmission. You go down a hill and the truck driver still is low gear. He's the momentum down. That's what he's doing.
You can swing down your trunks from looking at the top of that one. We're coming back down toward the depot. We're going to come to a place called McScump Junction. I don't want you to be frightened or alarmed. There's going to be a loud roar and a fire of steam from the left side of the locomotive. That's called a blowdown. It's the fireman cleaning out the boiler using steam pressure. Remember I said we used, we used three, 600 gallons of water to make this trip? You'll be cleaning out the boiler. Loud roar and a cloud of steam from the left side of the locomotive. in the county. On the left hand side as we roll back into the depot, we have an 1890 log camp. Vertical donkey steam engine, wood fired, big old wide belts that drive those 54 inch cutting blades. At the far end of the dock you can see some beautiful, beautiful redwood lumber that was planed out last weekend. The four little caboose sitting on the left hand side, that's the offices for the Warren Camp Railroad. We're coming back down into the depot now. We'd like to thank you very, very much for riding the Roy Camp Railroad. If you're back in this area again, please come see us again. We would ask you please to remain seated till the train comes to a complete stop. We also do the Thank you. 